for Speed Unbound with the brand new Lotus. This, in my opinion, is pretty much the only DLC pack that you should buy from this update. Something that took me a second to notice, but it instantly makes this thing so much cooler. You see the lights on the back, which are pr pretty damn cool. That's the exhaust. <laughs> what? That is absolutely insane. I was not expecting that. I had no idea where they would be. But the lights I was not expecting. So this thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. I love the Lotus. It looks sick. Clearly Lotus is going to let me for speed go ham with the crazy custom builds. I want to see more of it. Let's park up in this light so we can have a better look. So this is quite a confusing car. We have got the engine mounted in the back, if I uh, focus, with a big snail right there looking really, really sick. And then if you go towards the front, you've got a battery. That's right, a battery that is f designed for an EV or a hybrid vehicle with the motor and such. Which begs the question, why is it not powered by one of those? If I set off and uh, let you have a listen. And you can tell it's uh, not electric. It's pretty slow. It's got a big scoop on the front as well. For the That's so sick. But... It's supercharged, right? At least it sounds like it to me. And it definitely doesn't feel electrically assisted. Now, it's a little bit weird that the engine is not available in the car uh, from the go. But maybe, maybe there's an ability to swap it into the car and check it out that way. That would make a lot of sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense. That wh why is it not in there? Need for speed is confusing. Also, the Lotus lights up when you go into reverse. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> now, for the sake of saying that I covered all the bases, let's go into all the cars and show you the other DLC. So uh, I think of the three packs, as I say, this is likely the best. The third one we know is a scam. However, the first one, I, I'm really not sure what to say. Like, there may be... <laughs> oh, no. Life's too short to drive boring cars. It's too short to drive fat ones as well. I kind of want to give this the benefit of the doubt. Just very quick. What the hell? I was almost another statistic of getting run over by a fat car. So in case you don't know how the legendary customs work, it's basically a body kit. Uh, a new body kit that's available for the car. It looks pretty cool, but it's so wide. Let's have a look at some of the standard ones just to give you an idea. Yeah, it's much wider and much lower. Kind of anti-G-Wagon if you will. I hate this wrap. I'm going to remove it. I think it's awful. <laughs> I'm sorry to the person that made it. I really don't like it. I think the placement of the car is broken. No, it's just fat. Once again, just like the previous ones, we cannot modify it at all, which criterion, I am expecting the ability to modify these in the future. They must just become part of the standard body kit options. Like that, if that's not the case, then all of this DLC is a scam. <laughs> I'm here to pay for early stuff so that then you guys in the next game get this for free in the base game, right? That's how it should be. Isn't that right, Criterion? Anyway, just to give a look, yeah, so the actual fenders are carbon. Uh, so you cannot paint those. You might be able to with stickers. You can probably do it with stickers. That would also be a no. You cannot do anything to those arches at all. They do not exist. So basically, I would make this car black or gray or something. Much better size for a car. Right, now... Once again, the body kit is going to be wild compared to the standard ones available. In fact, I personally think the standard body kits on the Lotus are so, so simple. I really wish there were more because it's such a cool car. And actually, it's really good. It's really good. I do enjoy this car. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fix this thing. That's the reason we're on single player today, which uh, you can access these in single player if you want to. So we can tint the windows and change the wheels. The wheels look sick. This is actually probably the first one. I don't want to actually change anything. We can change the license plate. Uh, so that's that's nice at least, right? We've got this new hip hop one, which is, you know, that's not that's not bad. I kind of like that. I'm kind of digging that. That's pretty cool. I would actually really like a mint kind of license plate now. There's not really one to suit this car. Just look at this though. It looks so sick. Right. Anyway, ride stance is all the way low already. Let's go into, what if we, what if we rem do I want to do that? Can I save it? I remember. So if I remove the wrap, you've got an orange car underneath. <laughs> and yeah, it's actually really, really cool as a standard. I like it a lot. Of course, you can change the wheels if you would like to. Are those like new wheels as well? It does not appear that these wheels are on the list at all. In fact, you can only get them on this car. 
Luckily, unlike GTA, for example, without doing a glitch, you can just change the color of them, which is so nice because, yeah, then you can go for just any color that you want. If I like this orange, for example, I can get some orange wheels to match. Oh, that looks really sick. I dig that a lot, actually. Anyway, I'm going to put the uh, actual design back on because it's actually really sick so in terms of the engines what we have installed is a 218 horsepower 1.8 four cylinder yep parts wise we have got supercharger the root supercharger which makes sense so we've got the standard the standard setup <laughs> basically so what i'm hoping is that we have a high we don't have the setup that I was kind of expecting. We don't have a hybrid option. That doesn't make any sense. In that case, we'll just go with the best one. I think that's the best one. We'll go into parts. We're going to go for turbos. We're going to go for a big single turbo. We're going to make it accurate. We're going to make it proper. How it should be. Other than the electric bit. Obviously. Whoa. Whoa, it's only 39. That is already quick. I haven't even done the NOS. I haven't done the tires. Anything. It might already... No, it doesn't. Because we know it doesn't have anything. Because it doesn't bloody do anything. 2.1 knots to 60. We got a Taycan competitor here. This actually is uh, the faster box. Brakes upgrade and suspensions. Where are we? We are very close to the Taycan. I think the Taycan's like 1.9 when it's upgraded. Let's get it. Yes. Oh my God, this is quick. Are the lights, the lightning, is it flickering? <laughs> it's going so far away because it's going so damn fast. Whoa, this is good. Of course, it's a Lotus. British, British and proud. That was not a British accent by any stretch. But the only disadvantage I would say about this pack is once again, it is one of those. It gives you that 10 level boost on the speed pass, which means you lose some progression, uh, which is, you know, again, it's, it's fine to do that a little bit later. I, I do think going forward, I would like to see that removed drop. I, to be honest, I would be okay with seeing that as a separate thing. Like a separate thing with maybe a few clothes or something. I personally do not care. <laughs> I, I want to have the progression, but I also really want the cool new body kits. And to support the game, ultimately. is like I, I absolutely love this game. I know there's a lot of people out there that complain about this game. A lot of people will jump, to go, jump the gun and just kind of say quite pointless rubbish. Not to say there's no valid criticism, because I, I, I want myself criticize this game quite a lot. But in terms of the actual gameplay and the racing and everything, it's honestly, of the games I've played, even for the last... For, Need for Speed is always just more fun. I don't know what it is, but the actual racing, even if I'm decimating the, <laughs> the AI like I am now, I'm having more enjoyment driving in this game. I actually get like a, a proper feel for an arcade racer. It's exciting. It's interesting. And when you go too far the other way, I think, of, of trying to kind of please both, you get this weird, like, it, it just doesn't feel right. It's bloody flying cops now. That's <laughs> why so Need for Speed will always bring me back. Even with the games that I didn't really enjoy that much, I still had fun because the driving was quite exciting. It's always been, most of the time, pretty exciting. In different ways. I think with this Need for Speed, the actual driving itself, very exciting, fun, fast. But the game I didn't like so much is Hot Pursuit, uh, the more recent Hot Pursuit, I should say. Except when you do the turbo boost. That then felt like Need for Speed to me. <laughs> like just a little bit of mental on the top. Hey, big boy! Oh, <laughs> no! They've definitely made those cops weaker. 100%. There's no way this little car could do that much damage. I've got no perks or upgrades on this. I mean, okay, I've got upgrades. But you know what I mean? I have no perks to make me stronger. Don't know how I avoided that wall. I mean, I do. Pure skill, baby. I play Need for Speed. I know what I'm doing. I like that. Across the line. Into the bus stop. Get out of the way. Public transport in America doesn't exist. <laughs> Why is there a bus stop? It's not needed. <laughs> Very epic. Yeah. This car is really, really cool. It's actually one I think I will be using in a full black. Would look sick at nighttime as well. But I really like the design because of the, the, the extra kind of fluorescent lights on it. I do kind of wish we could paint the car and keep those. But again, these changes... What the poppin'? Man, the PC version is so uh, interesting. I'm on an SSD. Need for speed on PC has always been interesting. 
Mm. Let me know your favorite pack of the ones that have been released thus far. I think I would still say the Mustang is really, really cool. But this is definitely one that deserves to be in the top. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you again for the next... Oh my God, cop. Oh, he's underneath me. Never mind. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see while I've got it for free from EA on PC. Those three cars that should not be mentioned. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. Check out this video though. This one you should check out. This is very, very epic. Smash like, subscribe and peace.